Our next job is to lay lintel blocks over the top of the windows and doors. And I've got three types to do. The first lintel blocks will be laid over windows which are at the right height. So there's something there to support them. They'll be fairly easy. The second sort is over this door and another one I'm building in the emergency bunker where I need to cast the lintel block in place. The third lintel blocks are the ones I have to build over the car door openings. I've got to lay blocks in thin air. How am I going to do that? window in a brick or block wall you can adjust the height of your window so your frame is level with your top courses by how much you pack up underneath with the sill like I've done with these bricks on edge but you can't do that with a door that's because a door is normally of a fixed size and so your opening has to be positioned at the same height as the door virtually from floor up to the top of the door this means that when you end up with an odd level compared with your courses, particularly with these big concrete blocks, the easiest way to make up that odd difference at the top is with a poured in place concrete level.
temporary timber scaffolding is in place over both the garage door openings. So now I can lay lintel blocks on them and right across the top of this window and up to the corner of the building. This is a normal concrete block with the cutouts for the steel rods and the interior wall. This is the lintel block which is completely different and a lot heavier. It's specifically designed so that you can pour in place a concrete beam with steel rods in it through there. As I lay these lintel blocks on the timber formwork I won't be putting mortar on it, but I do, will be putting mortar on the ends to lock it into the blocks. And this first block, I've cut a V in it so the rod can go right through. This rod goes all the way down to the ground, up through that pillar, it's poured with concrete, and go right through that block and right up to the block above it. Now the lintel blocks are in place on the timber formwork, you can see the channel inside them that I can now pour with concrete. And the next thing I need to do is to prepare the steel reinforcing rods, the 16mm ones that go in the lintel blocks and the 12mm ones that go from the lintel blocks up to the conventional blocks concrete will be poured in through here and tie the whole thing together making solid beams right around the top of my block work. So I've made a temporary jigging table out of these couple of planks uh, just nailing the rods that have been measured and uh, laid in position with the set square. The advantage of this jig is that I can mass produce the many panels of Rio that I've got to make to go right around the top of these walls. I could use tie wire to tie these together but I don't want any movement in the rods at all while I put them up in the wall. So this is a case where I'll weld it and where even my crappy welds will be good enough because the welds only have to hold together until the concrete goes around them. 